Greetings, adventurers. This morning we are at Starved Rock State Park in Illinois. It's a gorgeous morning. It is probably about 60 degrees. I slept in a little bit. I planned to get here early. Early! But it is about 8 o'clock. Wanted to get here early because this is a very, very popular uh, park. And uh, I didn't, I slept in a little bit, so there are already a bunch of people here, but not too packed. Um, we have a whole bunch of uh, glens and waterfalls and stuff to check out today. So let's get going. There's French Canyon. Just off to our right. Okay, trail wound down, a bunch of stairs and stuff, and now we're at the bottom of French Canyon. Well, this is pretty cool. We have several more of these to explore. Some of them have caves and stuff we can go check out. So there were two tribes feuding with each other. I believe it was the Potawatomi and the Illinois. I can't pronounce them. <laughs> but uh, uh, Potawatomi ended up uh, chasing the other tribe here and uh, they took shelter up on top of this butte. And the Potawatomi tribe surrounded the butte and ended up starving them out which gave this place the name Starved Rock. And that took place in I believe 1767? 1767? 1769. Whoa. Oh wow. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll take a picture of it on my phone but there's a whole beach over there filled with birds. All right, there's also a veteran memorial here as well. It's a flagpole. All right, we're walking.
walking around the back side now. Looking inland, you can kind of see the gorge, see how it rises up. Okay, so we hit Starved Rock and then we're kind of looping around and pretty much starting right back to at French Canyon where I started, except there was an intersection and I'm gonna take the other direction here on the Campanella Trail. That's looking pretty cool already. And we're headed over to Wildcat Canyon. Starved Rock is here in Illinois. Um, it's because I'm on a adventure down here in Illinois, in the northern band of Illinois, and I'm going to be checking out some uh, pretty cool spots like this one. And uh, so, yeah, the next few videos are going to be from Illinois. So, stay tuned for those. The land. The land of Lincoln. Anyway, I believe we are here at Wildcat Canyon. So it actually looks like this is just the upper part of the canyon. Um, get some cool views of it up here, but uh, we'll be going down into it later, I think on the way back. So we'll save the montage for then. Holy cow, look at that. Oof. Oh my God, this looks like what, four, 400 feet up? I am having a hard time just standing here on this edge. Yeah. <laughs> Wildcat Canyon. Beautiful. Alrighty, folks, here we are at Basswood Canyon up on top. Well, this one, I don't think there are trails on the bottom, so you'll only be seeing it from the top. It's one of the uh, smaller canyons, but I like the uh, bubbly looking rocks over there. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But yeah, that was a coyote, all right. At first I thought it was someone's dog, but no, that was definitely a coyote. Well, that's really cool. My first coyote sighting. I don't believe I've ever seen a coyote. I've heard them many times. You never see them, though. That's pretty cool. Ooh, coming out to a nice, beautiful area here. Look at this. Look at that tree. That thing is massive. The sandy ground. Wow. 
This must be Sandy Point. <clears throat> this tree is enormous. Ooh, okay. That's a long ways down over there. Beautiful view of the Illinois River. Or maybe this is Sandy Point. Ha ha. I'm starting to see why I haven't mentioned this yet, but this is Illinois' number one state park, most visited state park. And it's like the 11th most visited state park in the uh, country, something like that. Wow, and this cliff here goes down. Um, we will be hiking back on a trail back down on the bottom, so. Absolutely is amazing. This is kind of amusing. Not a trail. Hey, you're right, it's not a trail. It looks like a cliff. All right, awesome canyon. Well, again, we'll be down in the bottom of that. You can see that trail down there in the bottom. Lone Tree Canyon. Awesome. It looks gorgeous from up here. Those mossy cliffs. We have reached the end of this trail, and now we're going to go down to the river trail. Down the stairs. All right. Okay, down here in the bottom we are. Next to the river. Which looks really high right now. Which is good. It's a healthy river. But uh, we came down to the river trail here. And uh, we took a right. Um, and we're gonna head down to Tonti Canyon and LaSalle Canyon. Check those two canyons out. And maybe it's almost time for break too. All right. That was just a very cool looking unnamed canyon. Head on to Tontia Cabin. Canyon. Tonti. Tonti Canyon. Alright, 
we are here at LaSalle Canyon and uh, I'm choosing it's break time so I'm gonna take a short break while you guys watch the montage of LaSalle Canyon go Unfortunately, folks, this is the path to Taunty Canyon, and it, apparently it is closed. I think because of the condition of this bridge, it looks like it could collapse at any moment. <laughs> that was awesome, LaSalle Canyon. Absolutely beautiful. I was glad to see uh, some good water coming over the waterfall, because we didn't see those other two that were kind of dry, so I was kind of worried, but it was awesome. I had myself a banana and an oatmeal bar. Re-energized, ready to go. All right, here's a nice little canyon back here. No waterfall, but pretty cool nonetheless. Cat Canyon was pretty cool, but I thought LaSalle Canyon was much better. Um, I was expecting a little more, I guess, because a lot of people said that uh, Wildcat Canyon was their favorite. Um, but the uh, waterfalls were a little more, had a little more natural beauty, I think, at LaSalle Canyon than this one. This one was just really just that small point. Whereas LaSalle Canyon, there's like a long canyon you get to walk through. Um, whereas this is just kind of one spot. Ladies and gentlemen, Beehive Overlook. Not really a super great overlook. 
lot of trees in the way. So that was Eagle Cliff Overlook, absolutely gorgeous. Much more of an overlook than the last one. But uh, up here is Plum Island, which is an eagle sanctuary. So that's why that's probably called Eagle Cliff. I think we'll get a glimpse of it here in a minute. Lover's Leap Overlook. So right over there, that is Plum Island, the Eagle Sanctuary. And I don't know what those are, those like freshwater pelicans? It looks like, hanging out by the dam. Awesome place. Oh. All right, we're looping back around at the end. I have to once again take the stairs of death. Oh yeah, yeah. I need to pretty much climb up the side of this cliff. Whew. Anyway, it's about 11:30, and man, bus loads of kids started showing up. This place is packed now. <laughs> like all of a sudden about 11 o'clock it was just like I just started running into huge groups of people. Oh. And now it's packed. Oh. Anyway. On our way back to the parking lot. Almost there. that noise? My bird identifier came up with nothing. I don't know, it sounds like a bunch of weed whippers going, like a whole army of weed whippers. But it's coming from up in the trees. I don't know, it's weird. But anyway, I have, I made it back to the car. drove all the way to the other end of the park and uh, parked and now we're heading out to just like a small hike see a couple more of the smaller dells um, Hennepin Canyon Ottawa Canyon Illinois Canyon so just a few more of the canyons uh, but it's a shorter hike it's only like maybe a two mile round trip um, all right, here we are at Hennepin Overlook. Right at the end of the canyon. From here we'll head in to Hennepin Canyon. Well, this is a little bit of a bummer. This, I guess this trail does not go down into the canyon. It just overlooks the canyon. Awesome. Yeah, we were just on the overlook over on the other side there. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, council overhang.
pretty cool. This thing is enormous. Enormous. I wonder if there's any historical significance here because there's like this little, it almost looks like some kind of foundation that's filled in. Maybe this is where the speaker or the council met and the speaker would stand up here. Pretty cool. Shisha or something. Canyon, right next to the Ottawa Canyon. I'll put it up on the screen here, guys. All right, this is looking pretty cool, actually. Wow, those cliffs. Oh, a dead skunk. I almost stepped on it. Oh. All right. Wow, this looks like a pretty cool game back here. You can feel a very nice breeze coming down this canyon now. It's really nice, nice cool breeze. You know, these are probably some of the best ones. These two are probably a couple of the best ones down here. And one of the best things about it is there's nobody here. Awesome. Guys, I really like this one. I like how it's contained by nice sheer cliffs on both sides. 
I like that nobody's here. And I like the uh, ferns growing on the cliffs over here. Makes it look tropical. thing I can think of is cicadas. All right, folks. I am approaching the vehicle. This place is awesome. Um, several amazing overlooks. Um, Eagle Rock was really cool. Um, the Starved Rock overlook was really cool. Council overhang. Uh, there were a lot of really cool glens as well. Uh, the one next to back by Ottawa Glen. Those two were especially my favorites. I uh, saw the coyote. That was unexpected and and I loved it. That was awesome. Yeah, this place is great non-stop. I mean, I hiked probably like eight and a half, maybe nine miles in total. Um, but uh, yeah, non-stop views. Great um, places for waterfalls, climbing around on rocks. And there were even some little trails going off here and there that I could have explored, but didn't. But, uh, awesome place I can see why it's Illinois number one state park thank you all for joining me I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe like comment hit the bell for notifications all that good stuff and I hope to see you next week on happy trail backpacking mm -hmm.